Hello, everyone. Joining us for the show today is Eric Showtime Shelton. He'll be taking on Alex Perez next Saturday, February 24th at UFC on Fox 28. Eric, my man, how you doing, sir? Doing good, boss. Thanks for having me, bro. Absolutely, my man. So I see you're over at the gym, just finished up a training session. Yep, just got some sparring in, Saturday sparring. So, yep, hand on business, man, getting ready. Okay, when do you head out to Orlando? Uh, we take off Tuesday. Oh, okay. Plenty of time, plenty of time. Yes, sir. So uh, I know you're taking this uh, fight on short notice. How do you like the matchup with Alex Perez? You know, uh, I like the matchup. You know, I feel like I match up well with anybody in the UFC, you know, so... He's just uh, another stepping stone for me. I just got to go through this kid and get the job done, you know, so I can start making my way up the rankings, you know. I think we match up well. I think I'm faster than him. I think I'm, you know, quicker on the ground, quicker on the feet. So I think it's a good matchup for me. Uh, what did you hear about the news about getting the fight? Um, I heard about it. Uh, they gave me, it was a, well, like two, three weeks ago. So it was a, it was a last minute fight. But like I said, I stay in the gym, so. I'm always ready. You got to stay ready. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Is that correct? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So uh, the last fight uh, or the last two fights didn't go exactly according to plan. I mean, pretty close. But then you finally edged one out there in Sydney. How did it feel to get your first win in the UFC? Oh, man. It was a long time coming. It felt so good, man. It was like a weight lifted off my shoulders, you know. It just solidified where I, where I needed to be, you know. I needed, I needed that W for sure. Absolutely. So how do you see this fight going with Alex? Uh, I'm looking for a finish, man. This fight, I got to go out there and prove that I belong and finish this cat. You know, uh, he called me out. So I think he bit off a little more than he could chew, though. So I'm going to go in there and prove to him that he doesn't belong there. So that's the game plan. Finish this kid. I saw that little uh, back and forth you guys had on Twitter. Is that kind of what <laughs> you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> called me scared or whatever he was talking. I was trying to get to higher rankings, you know. But, you know, whatever they give me, I'll take. Absolutely. So let's say, of course, you get the win. Where are you aiming for next, or when do you see yourself fighting next? Uh, I'm going to shoot for something. I want to shoot for a top 15 fighter after that, you know, try to get up there in the top 15. And, uh, you know, whoever, whoever they got, whoever, you know, they feel matches up well with me, I'm, I'm down to fight anybody. But no place in particular that you're looking forward to fighting in? No, man, I'm, I'm enjoying just traveling, you know, being able to go to Australia was pretty dope. Now I get to go to Florida, you know, getting to travel, doing what I love to do. You know, you can't beat that, you know what I mean? Absolutely. How did you get into martial arts in the first place? Well, you know, I went into a gym, um, a, local, a local gym back home, and uh, I got beat up, man, and I was just like, I fell in love. I was like, I can't, I got to get good at this. So, and that was it, man, and then just kept chasing my dream, man. I was like, I got to be the best, and, uh, and it never stopped from there. What are some of your interests outside of fighting? Being a father, you know, hanging out with family, uh, you know, hanging out with my team. We just do a lot of team, you know, team stuff. Yeah, like I said, man, being a father, really. Yeah, we got to know you on a tough pretty well. Did you enjoy that experience? Oh, dude, that was that was a life changer, man. I, I got to learn a lot about myself, you know, in that house, being locked up with no phone, no nothing. It was it was a dope experience, man. Was it pretty challenging being away from your family, though? Oh, yeah, that was the toughest part, you know, because before every fight, you know, I got my family there to support and it's just it was different, but it gave me more to fight for. I had a little bit of an edge because I was fighting for for them, you know, and it was. Uh, yeah, I just it felt real good to be able to get that all off my chest and, and get a couple of W's in there. I know I didn't get come out with the win, but the experience itself was, you know, it was phenomenal, man. So well, what do you think you'll be doing after your career in fighting? I plan on opening up a gym and, uh, you know. All the knowledge that I've learned over the years and, and teaching other people, teaching kids, you know, um, just taking my blessings and, and sharing them with the world. You know what I mean? You're from Oklahoma, right? Is that where you want to open up a gym at, maybe? Uh, I'm, I was born in Oklahoma, but I'm I was raised in, in Galesburg, Illinois. So, you know, now I'm in Texas. So, I mean, wherever I wherever I land, I'll probably go back home and open up a gym, like a local gym, you know, and see see how that works. Never, I haven't really thought about where I want to do it. Just, you know, I'll figure that out as the time comes. Right now, I want to focus on my career. You know, you can't do two things 100%. So right now, I'm focused on getting what I need to get done, getting that belt and becoming a world champ. So the year just started out. Where do you see yourself at the end of 2018? Oh, man, uh, this year, I want to I want to make a run for the title, man. I want to get up there because in my division, it's, it's so 
you know, a couple wins, few wins, and, and you're right up there in title contention because the way Demetrius is running through for him, it's just that's how it goes, you know. Heavyweight and, and flyweight, it's like quick, quick route to the title. So I just got to keep winning, man, and, and build my name up, build my brand, and I plan on getting a, taking a shot for the title this year. Did you see your uh, buddy Jose Shorty Torres' big win the other night? Yeah, dude. That kid's a savage. He's just walking through punches. <laughs> that kid's a beast. That's my boy. I love, I love training with that kid, too, when I get the chance. He'll be an exciting addition to the flyweight division, don't you think? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm waiting on him to give him a call, you know? Let him, let him get in there and show what he's about. He deserves it for sure. Are you a big fight fan yourself? Oh, yeah, man. That's all I watch. I don't watch no sports, just fights. That's it. I live this, you know? <laughs> awesome. So who do you got in the main event coming up this weekend? Cowboy. Cowboy, okay. That's my man. I just I hate to see him lose. I want to see him get a W, go in there, and, you know, I don't want his legs to be ruined. That dude is he's an animal, man, you know, but he's been coming off a couple losses. So I want him to get that W, get that hand raised. Right. Is there any fighters that you looked up to as you were growing up as a kid or uh, that, as you got into fighting? Man, my coach, Pete Spratt, you know, uh, uh, there was a – one of my favorite fighters growing up was Chuck Liddell, Pete Spratt. Um, yeah, man, there's – but now, now Demetrius is obviously my favorite. I like Conor McGregor. I like how he handles business. Um, you know, I like a lot of fighters, man. I love, I love people that do it for the right reasons, you know. Absolutely. That's interesting that you said Demetrius is your favorite fighter, the champion of your division. Is that, yeah. How is that? admiring somebody that is the champion of your division he he's you know he sets the standards so high he he raises the bar in every division i feel you know that kid that dude is i got so much respect for him as a man you know he's great father you know great human being and he's a great champion i don't think he gets the respect that he deserves but you know like i said it's a it's my job to take him out so and uh we respect each other though i you know i, I got to talk to him a few times and and you know he he respects me i respect him but, you know, it's a business at the end of the day. And uh, I'm coming for what he has. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what's your favorite part about the fight week? Fight week, man, just the, the anticipation of getting in there. I'm just so ready. You know, I'm, I know I did the work. Now it's just time to go in there and have fun. And I feel like I'm finally starting to get comfortable in the UFC. I feel like I'm finally starting to understand, like, how it works, you know. And it's just I'm feeling comfortable, man. I'm not nerves ain't there as much. It's just anticipating what's going to happen and how I'm going to get the W. Okay, starting to get comfortable now, huh? Find your groove. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's got to feel a lot better uh, to have that groove after a big win, though, or you feel like you're getting that groove after a big win, right? Exactly, man. It's that I needed that win, man. It just, you know, like I said, it solidified that I that I needed to be here. It shows me because I if I wouldn't have got that win, man, I was just it would have it probably would have cut me. You know, of course, I would have been three in a row. You know, close decisions. I was like, man, I got to go out here and prove that I belong, man. And, and I feel, I feel I did so, you know, I think the punch count was 186 to 11. So, you know, it was a, it was decisive. a, yeah, it was super decisive. I couldn't leave it to the judges. And if I do, I have to make sure it's decisive. Yes, sir. Absolutely, man. So any plans for after the fight, my man? Not, man, you know what? I'm, really, I'm just focused on the fight. I'm going to get the fight done, get it over with, and then we'll go from there. I got some family coming up. I got some people I know in Orlando. So I'm sure we'll find something to do. You know, I want to go out there, jet ski. Enjoy the beaches, you know, have some fun like that. There you go. How long do you plan on staying in Florida after the fight? Uh, I got, I had my flight booked for Monday, so I'll leave Monday. So I'll have a it's Sunday and, and Monday I'll be able to hang out a little bit. And then that whole week, we're up there that whole week before, so I'll be able to get a little bit of views of the, you know, Florida and have some fun, family and everybody that's coming down. Nice, nice. Have you been to Florida before? Yeah, yeah. My my brother was actually born in Florida. We lived there for a short time. I went to Disney World and stuff down there. So I've been to Florida a few times, but it's always a good time when you go down there, man. Beautiful. You know, it's beautiful down there. The weather and everything, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Well, I, Eric, I appreciate you giving us some of your time. I know you got a busy Saturday probably ahead, so I appreciate the time, my man. But before I let you go, uh, I'm curious, what have you been jamming to lately when you're on the way to the gym or while you're getting your workouts in? Hey, man, I, God's Plan by Drake. Drake's been dropping some hot stuff, man. That's what I like right now. I've been listening to that a lot. I think that's what I'm actually going to walk out to. So, Okay, cool. Right on. I've heard that a couple times, actually, to check out the Drake stuff. Yeah, man, he, he, he drops them right in time all the time. <laughs> right. Perfect. Perfect. All right, man. Well, I appreciate your time again, sir. Thank you so much. 
Guys, be sure to tune in next Saturday, February 24th. Eric Shelton will be taking on Alex Perez at UFC on Fox 28. Don't miss it. Appreciate it, boss.